Hello and welcome to another Elliot and Matt tour and today we are at back at Collendale mm. Gardens. We are filming for Red Row and we are in a show apartment that has been refreshed but we're also going to take you on a journey in this video because we're going to do what we didn't do last time which was take a walk around the actual development. We'll also show you the customer experience suite as well which is absolutely fantastic. Stunning. And we're going to share lots more information about this development that we didn't tell you in the previous video. So let's get to it. As always, we start in the hallway. Now I will link our previous Collendale vlog in the description box below so you can compare and contrast and you can tell us which version you prefer. So this cupboard is actually really lovely in the hallway. And I should point out as well that these apartment, this particular show home apartment um, is a non-typical layout, but it does show you the quality and finish and what you would get from your own apartment if you buy one. So you actually get a built-in air ventilation system, Ooh. which means that in the winter, for example, you don't need to open the windows to get fresh air, even in the summer as well. This brings you fresh air. There is also underfloor heating as standard in the apartments, and most of the appliances are actually Siemens. In fact, I think all of the appliances yeah, they're all standard, are Siemens. As except standard. for the dishwasher. Except for the dishwasher. There's More good, on that later. You have a dishwasher though. And this is the electrical fuse box and plenty of space to put shoes, coats, storage in your hallway, which is what you want. You get that here with Red Row at Collingdale Gardens. Okay, so closing this door, immediately to your left, we have the, the bathroom. bathroom. So this is actually quite a large bathroom. There's this plenty of down lights. The tiling's lovely. Yeah, I remember that from last time. So this, is, this example is full height tiling. Um, with, with your extractor unit as well, right above the shower. Yeah, which is really, really good. Yeah. Oh, and the massive oh. mirrored cabinets. Look at these. These are ginormous. Wow. I, rem I remember them <laughs> last time and thinking, I would love to fill this up with toiletries. Oh, you probably could. Probably could. Let me know if you can fill this up with your toiletries. So, a really nice unit here. We have the sink and we have the toilet with the concealed um, push-button facility. It's actually by... The Berit, I think that's how you pronounce it. You even get a handy shelf under the sink. Yeah, which is really good for storage. And the heated towel rail as well, yeah. which you need you in do. the UK. Apart from drawing a heat wave. Yes, <laughs> that. So again, quite a spacious hallway. If you did have um, a disability and you're in a wheelchair, for example, this is accessible. The doorways are wide as well. So let's go immediately left. This is... The main bedroom. Ooh. Isn't it lovely? It's gorgeous. And it's definitely been refreshed. Wow. Um, so this actual apartment will be returned to a commercial unit eventually. So that's why it's a non-typical layout. But just look at the size and space of this main bedroom. It's gorgeous. It really is lovely. And I can just imagine myself using this tray, sitting down, having a cup of hot chocolate or cocoa with my marshmallows, all that kind of thing. Isn't it lovely? Wow, and I think you could get a king size bed. Oh, definitely. In here. Yeah. It's lovely. There's plenty of switches by the bed as well, and plugs, and all kinds of things. In fact, there's even a socket here where you could have a TV on the wall. Oh, in yeah. Front of bed, if you like watching TV in bed. Room for a glam station. We do love a glam station. It's very stylish. But I love the styling that's been going on here. I really, really do. Um, so I don't want you to peek at the, at the ensuite. But we have giant um, mirrored yes, cabinets. Now, these are standard in the main bedroom. Um, so it it's may very be, handy actually. Yeah, they may be different sizes depending on your layout um, in different positions, but they are very handy being, being how, how big they are and the height of the ceilings as well. Yeah. Typical red row, but these are like really, really high. Um, you've got space for shoes. Got your Louboutins. Coat, yes, whatever, whatever shoes you want to wear. Feathered um, frocks. Yeah, get down shoes though. <laughs> Um, so, oh wow, we'll have oh, a look wow. in there. Look at that, we've got a rainfall shower straight, even, that's the first thing I saw. Yeah, it's even better than I remember. Yeah. So I quite like the marble effect tiles in here. Oh, you've got another humongous oh, big cupboard. Some more room for your toiletries. Yeah, so let me know, if could you fill both of these cupboards up? You definitely could. I could. Well, I'd, I'd enjoy trying. With your <laughs> lotions and potions. I would. There's also a shaver socket as well, if you need one. Wonderful. Yeah. Plug in your lady shave. Um, so again, you've got the same kind of toilet sink configuration yeah. with the under storage. Oh, there's underfloor, did I mention? There's no. underfloor heating, 
on the floor heating is standard, which keeps obviously the apartment at a really lovely temperature and very economical as well. Yeah. So that's good, that's especially all with moment. all the prices going up. Yes. <laughs> so there's a thermostat as well over here. And um, we were impressed by this last time. So it's, it's a column that's been dressed up. It's like a mirrored background and some wood. It just yeah. makes an interesting feature of just a column. Yeah. So you could do that in your own apartment as well. Wow. Hey, spare oh, bedroom. Yes, look at this. Wow. And hat light. I, I remember the hat light. You could literally yeah. take that off and you could wear it for Ladies Day at Ascot. Um, I love the bed. Yeah. It does oh, look very comfortable. It is. Oh, wow. And you've got the panelling. They put panelling on the wall. Doesn't come the standard, but again, shows what you could what do. What you can do. Um, plenty of space for at least a double bed with bedside cabinets. You've got um, the optional upgrade of having wardrobes in the second bedroom. Or third, if you're buying a three bed. Yeah. Um, so again, just the same kind of storage. Um, really, really handy. Um, you've got space as well for another glam station or working from home. Yeah, you could, or also, you could also put a desk. Yeah, or you could have the wardrobe extended over. Um, this feels a lot like our cat. <laughs> it looks like Rory. Aww. He's very, very soft. He's very fluffy. Very, very fluffy. Um, so, yeah, perfect space. Could also be, if you're buying a two bed, could also be a nursery. Yeah. Could even be a home office. It could be whatever you very want. Very easily. We have the intercom. The intercom. So this allows you to basically let people in. <laughs> or keep people out. Or keep people out. Maureen looking at yes. you. Yes. Don't let Maureen in. No, she'll steal your forks. <laughs> Why just the forks? I don't know. <laughs> she collects them. She does. She uses them to comb her hair. It's the only <laughs> thing that will get through the tangle. <laughs> okay, let's go into the main space. So this is the main, 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 main space. And well, I twirl. And I absolutely love it. Um, so, like I said, you can see where this will be returned to a commercial yeah. use because you've got the big kind of shop windows here. But again, shows the style and the quality that you get and you would expect from a Red Run property. Um, again, we will show you in the customer experience suite there are a choice of worktops um, and bathroom options. So, there's, there's three choices and they're all in kind of preset sets. Uh, this one um, is kind of the plain white one. Yeah. You've got obviously the Siemens, no these are Electrolux in here but they will be I think mainly Siemens. Yeah Siemens are standard um, normally. But you have got quite a large fridge freezer. Fridge freezer. You've got the Siemens here. It's microwave the, and oven. Yep yeah, microwave and oven. Uh, plenty of cupboard storage above. Oh yeah that's loads of storage. Yeah now you can even with the options upgrade the worktops to Silestone. Mm. So this is a Silestone example. You've got the stainless steel sink with the draining board running into it. So it's a really nice high quality upgrade. I really love the fact that you've got the Silestone going up into the backsplash. That's really nice. Plenty of sockets as well to plug in uh, for your kettle, toaster, whatever appliance. Juicer, if you're on the juice diet. Are you juicing? Let me know. Right, we've got plenty. I mean, look, just look at the height yeah. of these cupboards. I won't go through all the cupboards because I have shown them in the previous tour video, so I will link that. But there is so much storage. I will show you the dishwasher. Yeah, that's an Electrolux dishwasher. Yeah, so that's really, really nice how it all uh, pulls out. Loving that. I will show you as well the pan drawers because they're very, very handy. They are. So these are amazing. Pan drawers. And they're all soft clothes as well, so if I just... Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay, soft clothes. Um, We've got a Siemens hob, and then what they've done here, because you've got the extractor fans, the only other cupboard we need to open, really, is they've actually made what wouldn't be able to be a cupboard into a cupboard, and perfect for spices. Yes, which is lovely. Um, I like the way that they've cleverly utilised every inch of space yeah. in this apartment, to be quite honest. Um, again, you've got a really nice dining area, straight off the kitchen, which I love, because I could just imagine having my morning orange juice, my porridge, my oatmeal, my granola, banana. When? And, and when? And then going to do some yoga. When? <laughs> what do you mean when? Well, when? when? When are you ever up in the morning to do all these things? Well, mornings are for coffee and contemplation. Or for sleeping. Or for sleeping. <laughs> but okay, if you're an early riser, you can raise yourself, raise yourself from your slumber you can stumble into the kitchen, pour yourself a cup of ambition, yawn and stretch and try to come alive. And before you, you jump in the shower and get your blood pumping, you can do some yoga. You can. You can have your coffee. Plenty of space down here to do your downward dog. 
Yes! I've seen Maureen doing hers. Oh, I bet you got an eyeful. Well, she needed the hoist to get back up. <laughs> right. So, <sighs> the living room area. Very stylish. Now, obviously, this is a non-typical shape, but just look at the amount of space you've got for a sofa. And going also into this really amazing inbuilt kind of um, media unit, I suppose. Yeah. But it also makes it really stylish. You've got the gold inlay which looks really sumptuous and gorgeous. Going into this kind of um, drawer space, you've got your TV on the wall, you've got working from home as well. I mean, just imagine being sat here working from home, you can go and make yourself a cup of coffee in between doing the downward dog and you can do a bit of work on the laptop. And yes, it's yeah. perfect. I could see myself working from home here. It's lovely. Oh, my favorite feature from last oh. time. I absolutely love this. This is amazing. So this is, what you can use to keep abreast of what's going on. Yeah, keep abreast of local news. Yes, you can just, you know, you can see what's going on, see what Maureen's up to, see what see what she's ordered from her Ricardo order. Oh, can Maureen afford Ricardo? She can. Wow. She, she's been having it for the past four weeks. Wow. Not, not like... I, not that I've noticed. No, she should swap the HelloFresh. <laughs> she should swap our link and code in description. No, but just look at this sofa. Isn't it gorgeous? So... I reckon you can get at least five people on this sofa. Oh, very easily. Depending on the size of your derriere. Yeah. Well, maybe one Maureen. <laughs> you could release your wiggle. Oh, you could. <laughs> release your vibe, release your stress, release your wiggle. Quit your job. <laughs> Beyonce told us to quit our job. <laughs> Beyonce told us to quit our jobs. So here we are. <laughs> 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 but isn't it lovely? It's gorgeous. And I do love the refreshed look. So, like I said, if you've taken a look at our previous Collingdale video, let us know which look you prefer. Do you prefer the refreshed look? Do you prefer the previous one? Um, and I will say as well, we've had a quick look around the development. And since, obviously, a year has moved on since we were last here. And, and the development has really started to come alive. There are so many more people, residents here. You've, we've actually seen people walking their dogs. There's someone having a party, I think, as someone, well. Someone's having a party. They're using the outdoor spaces, like the, the play parks. They're just going for walks, running. Um, so it's really nice to see it, how a development has moved on in a year. It's actually starting to feel like a community, like a home, and you, of course, could be part of that. Shall we go take a look at the customer experience? Suite? Yes, let's go and take a look. Okay, so here we are in the customer experience suite. We're just in the entrance, so this is what you're greeted with when you arrive. There is some parking, so make sure you phone them to find out exactly where it is at any given moment in time. But just look at this amazing model that is behind us. This is a scale model of the Collingdale development. So we are currently um, on phase two. Phase one is pretty much sold. So just look at this, isn't it amazing? Wow. One of these could be your home. So if you are lucky enough to come down to the customer experience suite, this is what you get to see. And just take a look at all the green space. Now this is really exceptional for London. And obviously there are lots of amenities nearby. There are supermarkets, there are Chinese food, like I mentioned before, um, lots of different um, cultures around, and lots of bus links, rail links, and there is also a tube station as well that can take you all into central London so that you can enjoy everything that the city has to offer. Isn't it fantastic? And also there are the interactive screens as well. So I think we had a play with those last time, <laughs> and they were amazing. Now, we did mention about the different choices, so if you do get in early enough, you've got to choose from, or you can choose from, three different options. We have the Blanco, which is very neutral. So if you are liking quite a neutral, kind of light, bright palette, this one could be for you. Then we have the Cappuccino, um, which again is, it is actually all very neutral um, and subtle, isn't it? And then we've got the Grigio. You can choose also to upgrade to Salstone. Okay, now this has definitely changed since the last time we were here because we're now on phase two, so the model has changed to a phase two. Isn't it wonderful? Look at this. There is a mix of um, social housing, rentals, and also private. Should we go around and have a play with the... Yeah. Okay. 
So Matt's going to have a little play with the interactive feature. So you can actually select the apartments and they light up. So you can easily see exactly where your apartment is. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can find one. Okay, which one are we going to look for? I think I want to look for a two bed. What do we a do? two bed? Yes, please. Okay, so, yep, so we're on we two beds. There we go. Aha. Oh, and there, there we go. We go. <laughs> so there is a ground floor two bed available that's just popped up, which is apartment plot C2. Zero, C2. Zero two. You can literally light up the whole building and it will show you what's available and also where the different apartments are, which is a really good feature. Okay, and there's also lots of areas in here where you can sit down and you can relax. Um, if you've had a long journey, you can sit and have a little bit of lunch as well. Yeah. And there are also refreshments on offer too. We've been treated yeah. very well. So this is, um, the whole, as you can see, um, this the whole area is our development. It's yeah. massive. Um, it's, um, we have three phase. Wow. So phase one, our phase one is from here to here. And that's our phase one, including this building. Wow. So, so that's that's a phase one, and we saw them all, all occupied. Wow. It's all completed. Now we are uh, we are in phase two, which is uh, this. Yes. Yes, this part of the of the property, and we, at the moment we are selling the tall one, so it's facing the main road. Yeah. That tall one and the one next next to it, this one. Brilliant. So this is the building we are selling. And when we, uh, so as you can see, the construction work is still coming, I mean, still going on. And when we, when we complete all the construction work, we're going we're gonna to have a lot of commercial units here. Um, so once we sold out the whole site, I believe this marketing suite will be one of the commercial units. Yes, yeah, we were told that last time. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we're going to have a lot of shops. Mm. And uh, so hopefully we can bring another, like a, a doctor practice. And we can, we probably will have another supermarket. We, we always say, they always say, they try to bring Rachel's here, yeah. but let's see. Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's going to be amazing. Yeah, I think it'll do quite well if they have yeah, a Rachel's. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but, um, there's, a, there's some social housing and shared ownership property in, in phase two as well. Yeah. They are this building, the social, and this is a shared ownership. Okay. And this is a shared ownership, this is a social. And this three is luxury renting, so a company bought it and wow. will deal with their own renting stuff. Wow. Yeah, so that's what's, pretty much what happened. What's going to be here? Here, so we bought the land, we bought the whole piece of land from yeah. the police training academy. Um, so they, they're still there. So they, 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 they're still there. Oh, um, I see. They're gonna, yeah, they're going to keep it. So we just bought this piece of land from them and they're going to, yeah, remaining there and they're Lovely. still operating. Brilliant. So when we complete the S phase two, we're going to go back to here. That's phase three, right. as you can see. But that's going to be probably going to be nothing to happen in about five years time. Right. We finish uh, complete phase two first. But this is phase three. Wow. Yeah. At the moment, I can't. I can't tell you much about phase three because I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still to be yeah, defined. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. The plan. That's the plan. Wow. And here is a, we are building an on-site primary school and oh, wow. a public school. Wow. Yeah, it's, um, and th I think um, I think Saracens will be running this school. Lots yeah, of it's now down to the Barnet Council. Yeah. Wow. It just is literally in this corner. As far as I know, a lot of residents who are living here are desperately waiting for the school to be open. Yeah. For their kids. Wow. Yeah. So pretty much we're going to have everything. So here we've got concierge here. It's in the corner. We have twenty-four hours concierge. We have a gym, sauna room, and a steam room wow. in this corner. Yeah, it's like brand new facilities, it's yeah. very nice. It's, so do the residents pay a fee for the charge, area? Yes, we do. Yeah. Uh, we pay, uh, the, um, the estimated charge is three pounds per square foot per year. Right. So pretty much depends on how big your unit is. Okay. So if you're talking about, if it's two bedroom, for example, um, renting the whole unit, it's about 20 pounds per square foot. Then, if that's the case, your annual service charge will be something around two thousand four hundred pounds. Right. So every month, about two hundred pounds. Okay. Which is not bad at all. No, no, not for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you will have twenty-four hours concierge. You will have a brand new, like a yeah. uh, gym. You will have sauna and steam room, perfect for winter. Yeah, everything's new. And um, parking. Where... Parking. Yes. Good question. So in each building, each block, 
we have under either under croft or underground right. car, like a car park mm -hmm. for example um most of the two bedroom and all the three bedroom yeah onwards um we can offer a parking space right yeah but okay. for and we also we also have some parking permit as well on site it's just here mm -hmm. parking on the road it's not, I mean, it's not necessarily guaranteed, I mean, it's not necessarily fixed space, allocated space. First come, first serve, but you will find a space to park. Okay. And the fee for that is £950 per year. Right. Um, for the under, uh, for the inside parking is three, something around £350 per year for the management fee. Okay, that's not And bad. this fee is on top of the service charge. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. And then we've got all the lovely green space yeah, over green, here. Yeah, yes, so especially this side. The train track is here. However, the rest uh, of the people living here can also, I mean, enjoy the open view. Yes. Oh, so where's the nearest station? The tube? Is it a tube? Is it a tube? Train track, yeah, yeah, the northern line. Ah, the northern line, so okay. So the, sta uh, the tube station is here and right. the train track is here. Okay. And no, obviously... Because, I mean, for this part, it's overground. That's yeah. why people probably can see it. And obviously there's all bus links and... Yeah. Yeah. And, and there will be schools as well. And there'll be schools in the wider area yeah, as well. Yeah. Lovely. Perfect, That's really good. Area yes. Be. And at the moment, I mean, so talking about the community, we have a lot of Hong Kong overseas, yes. um, overseas investors and overseas purchasers as well. So we have a lot of Hong Kong people living here. We have a lot of Chinese people living here. We also have a lot of local young profession living here as well. So because in the past, we did have some property like you know, uh, yeah. available for help to buy. So we have a lot of help to buy local purchases, like a young couple, young family, young profession. They are really fancy our location because it's very easy for them to jump yes. out here and go to central London. Yeah, of course. So and yeah. the price is very affordable here. Yeah. So it's very, it's very popular. Yeah, it's lovely. And also, um, the corridor area, the very quiet area, mm -hmm. is not that busy. But now we are, we are for like 4,000 Yeah, it's been regenerated, hasn't it? Yes, it's a very busy area. Yeah, everything's coming up, isn't it? And yeah, and it's been regenerated. It's perfect for the Asian community because we've got Bang Bang Oriental Food there, down right. the road, uh, which is very popular. So yeah. it's very delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's as well. We popular. do like Chinese food, don't we? <laughs> oh, yeah, you can try. You can try this one today. It's very nice, mm. about £10, pounds, £15. Pounds, I mean, oh, wow, that's things. good. Yeah. And also we have uh, like a proper Chinese restaurant on the ground floor and we have Chinese supermarket and we have a very big oh, wow. sense and we have very big Asta, we have a Max Spencer football and we have oh, Nando's yeah. all, all just uh, if you just like go down this road until the end and turn right wow. and everything is there. Wow, so you've got everything. <laughs> it's everything here. It's a very convenient area. <laughs> wow. Us. I think we're gonna bring we're gonna we're gonna open another concierge area here mm -hmm. because it's massive development. Yes. So we can't only rely on one like one one no. facility place. It's very far away for people who are living here. So yeah. we're gonna have another concierge maybe somewhere here. Okay. Um, we're gonna have so whatever they have we have it there, we're gonna have it here as well. So for example people who are living here, here can use it. That one. You know, yeah. Lovely. It's brilliant, it's brilliant. It is. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start our walk outside. We've just, oh, there's a train going by. So, like I said, there are amazing transport links. Yeah, that's the northern line, I think. Yeah, so it's the northern line goes yeah, the tube straight into London. Because the tube literally just over the road. Yeah. No, you've got really, really good links here. Um, I'm really loving the actual kind of brick block like cobble. paving. Yeah, it's like a modern take on cobbles, really, isn't it? So, um, it's very, very well designed. Um, I love all the brickwork of the actual buildings themselves. Most of the apartments, I think, have balconies as well or some kind of out outdoor space, Yeah, which is lovely. Also, the planting is really nice. There are also some little kind of outdoor parks and areas for children to play as well. So there's plenty of amenities for families. And like I said, it's quite a nice kind of diverse community as well. Yeah, it's got a lovely community feel. Yeah. So we've just come down, uh, we've just come down Lundy Close. Oh. So there's... You can walk down there, but we're not going to walk there. We're going to try and head towards the the big kind of outdoor park. Yeah. Because there's a lovely outdoor park. In fact, I'm not quite sure how big it is. Can you remember how big it was? I don't know the exact measurements, but I know it was chunky. Yeah, it's, it was really, really big. Um, yeah, and like I said, this is like typical parking as well. So if you do have a parking space, kind of designated in the grey, 
Um, yeah, it's, it's lovely. Ooh, an another train going by. So if you are into trains as well, it's actually really good. Yeah. For... <laughs> Especially tube trains. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and I've just seen, obviously, a dog walking by. So it's very pet friendly as well, which is nice. Shall we go down that side? So we've just come what would be, if I just show you down there, the street scene. Isn't that lovely? Um, I, I, I like the different colours of bricks as well. They've chosen different coloured bricks for different buildings. Yeah, every, every building looks different. Yeah. And here is one of those little outdoor play parks that I mentioned before. So children can come and play. Um, so we've just come down Hoy Close. We are in NW9. And it's uh, labelled Collindale Gardens. Wow, let's just look up. <laughs> wow. It's quite impressive, you know, architecture as well, because they haven't just gone for a flat fronted building. There are, you know, lots of different kind of recesses, which is quite nice because when the sun hits the building, there's lots of different shadows that occur. So the kind of, you know, it kind of changes throughout the day, doesn't it? Yeah. Which is really, really nice, I suppose. Oh, there's another train, <laughs> which we do like the train, which is really lovely. Um, so this little building here is some kind of electrical substation and you will find them dotted around the development. Okay, so we're just coming out of Hoy Close. Where are we heading to now? Um, so again, there's more apartment blocks down here. Way. Or we can carry on. Do you want to go down here? Uh, yeah. yeah, let's go down this um, way. Yeah, it's also a bit shady as well. Yeah, because it's quite hot it's today. It's a very hot day. And I have put some cream on, <laughs> but I don't want to burn. Okay. Again, there's you, nice use of planting for trees yeah, as well. A few benches. Yeah, there's recycling bins, yeah. which is also very handy. So nice shady spots where you can come and sit. You can park your bikes. Again, there's more car parking spaces. It's really well thought out. There are also security cameras as well, so you can feel very secure and safe. You know, things are recorded. Um, it's lovely. It really is nice and eventually once these trees have grown and matured um it will look like it's obviously been here for a very long yeah. time so i think down there is that Venera walk or is this Venera walk from here that's Onwards. Venera walk so that ah there you go that's Venera walk but like i said there's plenty of, of spaces um but it is a large development. It's what is it? Four thousand. Four thousand apartments. Four thousand apartments altogether. Once it's completed, yeah. and one of these buildings down here has the concierge mm. as well. Yeah, considering we're on phase two, if you can, obviously you're seeing the street scene. It doesn't feel overcrowded. No. So they really have thought about the way people are going to move through the development, and also with with cars and vehicles and bikes as well. Um, like I say, it doesn't feel overcrowded. Most of these are lived in. Yeah. Most of these have been sold. I think sold. phase one was all sold out, wasn't it? Yeah, or they've been rented. And like you can see now, you see the cars going by. Everything. There are safe places to cross. Should we go down here? Yeah. I think this is heading towards... We're almost towards... at the park, I think. Yeah, we're almost at the park. And I like the way that this block over here has got this kind of um, gold, almost metal kind of strut work, which makes a feature of the balconies which is really lovely. So the pavement has now changed to kind of more traditional yeah. pavement slabs. So it looks like around the back of the developments where you would drive to your car parking spaces, it's more the kind of brickwork. Oh, what's this? It's a pod point. It's an electric, it's charging, an electrical point. charging point. There you go. So you can plug in yes, you and can charge also, up. Um, purchase parking spots that has electric car charging as well. Yes. Um, there's, well, there's also lots of other amenities. What about the gym? Oh yes, the gym, that's in the same building as the concierge, which is one of these. I don't, is it that big one down there? It's one yes. of these ones down inside. I remember him saying last year. Yeah. Yes. What I do know though as well is most of the parking that you can purchase is either, is it under Croft or underground? Yeah, it's under. Yeah. <laughs> it's normally under the buildings. Yeah. Um, 
I was just going to say something in a big hurry. To the gym. The gym, yes. Yes. Uh, that's included in the... In the service charge. Yeah. They have to pay for this development for any apartment, really. Yeah. I mean, it's typical, especially of yeah. a big city. But actually, yeah. it's not too bad in terms of rates. At the moment, I think it works out to about three yeah. pounds. Oh, there's a gym. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a gym. I, I won't film people at those machines, but there's the gym. Um, going back to the service charge, I think at the moment, currently, it works out about three pounds per square foot yes. per year. So it depends annually. on your apartment how much yeah. it's going to be. Yeah, the bigger the square foot of the apartment, the more you pay. Yeah. Which is actually quite a fair system, I suppose, really. Okay, so we're coming out now to back into the sunshine. And here is the park. Yes. Which is lovely. We'll have a little walk. Should we walk through the little bit of park? Yeah. Yeah. So again, you can park up your bikes. It's very pedestrian friendly, as you can see. We've had no issue walking through. I'll just show the little kind of balance beam park, little amenities. Um, can we get onto the onto field? The park. Yeah. Yeah, you can. So this is so basically you just go straight up and onto the park really, which is lovely. Um but just look at this the scale of the buildings. Yeah. Aren't they magnificent? Wow. There are also some three bedrooms as well. Um we go on so, to the grass. Yes, let's have a little so the grass is looking a little bit worse for wear at the yes. moment. This part of the country is yeah. currently in a drought, I believe. Yeah. So Hose pipe bands are in effect and all that jazz. Yeah. That's why it's a little bit. So scorched. I think the last time we were here, this was all green green. Yeah. Um, so it's a little bit brown and yellow at the moment, yes, but but there's no there's no plans to develop this bit at all. No. It's just going to be left as a park. Yes. Yes, and that blue barrier down there on the other side of that, they are building a primary school as well. Yeah. So there's going to be a primary school. There are also other schools in the area as well. So I'm going to get a lovely shot of these apartment blocks. Um, so these are currently they have all people in them. But just look at the outlook they've got onto this park. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Isn't that amazing? It really is lovely. Um, and from where we were at the front of the development, it's literally taken us only eight minutes to get here. Oh, wow. And we were having quite a quite, slow... Yeah, quite a slow dawdle. ...meander down. I said, there's trees all the way around this park. I don't know how big it is in terms of acres, but it's, it's huge. It's massive, yeah. Um, and I imagine... You know, there could be community events held on here. There's enough space. Yeah. Kids can play. They can do football, cricket, <laughs> croquet, whatever you want. So it really is lovely. Gorgeous. Shall we have another little walk back? Yeah. Let's have a saunter down. Yeah. Is that, I, is that a children's play equipment over there as well? I can see right in the distance. Oh, yeah. So shall we walk back down? Yeah, let's have a walk around the park, shall we? Yeah, let's have a little walk down. Um, and you can just see, I think, the cranes over there. Are they the phase two? Yes, that, that's where they're building <laughs> phase two. Yeah. But, but every apartment block, wherever you are on here, has easy access. To this. Yeah, it's easily walkable. And I should say, if you have a disability um, or any kind of mobility issue, everything's flat. Yes. We've, I've not noticed not noticed an incline. <laughs> no, not really. Only except to get on up onto the park where oh, yeah, we were. Yeah, just a little tiny. That bit. was over where we were before. It was yeah. a bit steep, but obviously this, yeah, you but, should use the park. But if you're in a wheelchair or you've got a mobility scooter or something, any kind of mobility aid, you can get up here, I think, quite easily. Yeah. And just look how wide the pathway is. It's huge. It's massive. So what's this? A landfill bin. Oh, sorry. oh so it's a normal bin and a recycling yeah. bin. Um, also, we have another little kind of um, landscaped area. I can see some lavender in there. There are some shrubs. Um, so there's plenty of evergreen interest as well for all year round, which is nice. As a gardener, I pick up these things. <laughs> but we could do with some water. We could do with some rain. Yeah. Uh, just to get that grass. The grass will come back, by the way. It won't stay brown. No. Um, as soon as we have some... fruit trees as well, oh, look, apple trees. Apples. Look at this. There you go. I don't know what type they are, or even if they are edible. I imagine they're all apples. Yeah. Well. Anyway, check. <laughs> <laughs> don't just eat things off the ground. No. no, no, no. Always check what you eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there's an extra bit of park over here as well. Yeah. I didn't see that. So the people are letting their dogs off. Little dog fetching the ball. 
Men <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. There we go. So I just get a little shot that way as well. Just look at this. Wow. It's magnificent. There we go. So how many floors is that block? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. That's a nine story block. Um, I imagine we haven't been to a top floor apartment, no. but I imagine the view's quite nice from up there. But it's spectacular. Yeah. Like I say, central London, how, how far away by train? Oh, it was about, probably about 15 minutes from all the Yeah, lines. so you really are not far from the centre of everything, really, uh, which is very, very nice. Yeah. So we've got, what's this? Col Collendale Gardens bylaws. So, yes, there are rules and regulations. If everyone abides by them, then all of this. So we're just going down Thorny Close, which is lovely. Um... Again, we're back onto the kind of more cobbled, block-paved street area, which is really, really lovely. Um, yeah, it's just looking very, very nice. Yeah. Okay, so it's time for us to say goodbye from Collindale Garden. It's quite sad to say goodbye. Yeah, it's lovely here. We've actually really enjoyed our visit. As always, Red Row are really, really welcoming. They've made us feel at home. Yeah. And this development is absolutely superb. So. If you check the links in our description box below, I will link everything. And if you are in the country and you're able to come down and take a look for yourself, please do um, give them a call and they will hook you up. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll be able to see the show apartment for yourself as well. I'm just looking at phase two. So these are the ones that are for sale um, and will be completed. So here we are. Aren't they lovely? Well, they will be lovely when they're all completed. They'll be the same style and finish as what's around us. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please give this video a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. And of course, do hit the bell so that you know whenever we upload a new video. So from us, to you all, and goodbye. Bye, guys.